Okay, the second half of your assignment is to do transitions. So I want you to do from yellow to orange, from orange to red, from red to purple, uh, purple to blue, blue to green. I'm about to do from green to yellow. Just sort of finish that loop. Now I've got a sheet of paper here that I've been experimenting on. You always need this side sheet so that you can kind of figure out what's going on. Having just done the green to blue, I've been laying down some greens. And I found that some of my greens are bluer than others. I was using the really pastel greens because I have some very tealy kind of greens. So notice how this is much more blue than this one is. So if I'm going to a yellow, I want to use the more yellowy blue and eliminate this guy here. I could go up here into my teal blues, but teal is a function of blue. I just said teal blue, didn't I? So Celadon and uh, Jade are looking quite green. Now I could put some yellow on top of that and do something that fades from green to yellow, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate all of these things that I would call teal or blue-green. So they're going back into La La Land, and I'm going to take, for sure I want this yellow one, right? This yellowy thing is what's going to take me over towards yellow. When I get to yellows, I've got that bright yellow. I've got this orangey yellow. I don't think I want to go into orange, so I'm going to leave that one behind. I should have here a lighter yellow. Yep. So I think I'm going to go from light yellow to this yellow to this green. And look now how in between here I've got sort of the same value as well. If you squint at that it seems that lightness to darkness are kind of matching and that's going to make it easier to transition. And I'm going to take a yellow pencil and go on to that green a little bit and see what happens. See how nicely that transitions from green to yellow in there? Alright, so I'm set on my yellows and this light green. I really only need one more green, so I'm probably just going to do those four colors right there. This one's going to go, well, I could do that one next to that, why not? I'm going to start with that really dark green. But this one, this is kind of a grayed green, so if I start mixing that with yellow, I think I'm going to get kind of a nasty color that I don't really want. So these grayish greens that I have here, swatch. Alright, so I've taken out my blue greens and my gray greens. I now have one, two, three, four, five different markers that I'm going to use and one pencil. So, let's take my sheet here. I'm going to start with my lightest light. strokes of yellow. Knowing that the second stroke is going to fade into the first. Now, I'm not sure what mark that's going to make, so I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing on the other page. A couple strokes of this brighter yellow. 
then I take, of course, the lighter yellow and I blend the edge of the darker yellow into the light. It's good to have a blotter underneath when you're doing that kind of blending. That means that you've got another sheet of paper underneath because what happens is this bleeding, hazy, fudgy penumbra there um, gets all messy if it's on the plastic of the undersheet. So I'm going to keep this blotter now underneath here as I draw. It's good to have a clean blotter or I'm going to be picking up the, the colors. If I had this green under here as I colored it, it pull that green actually back up even though it's dry for all intents and purposes. All right, here we go from green to yellow. I feel like I'm going a little soon, but I've got three greens, so that's going to be all right, I think. That's going to take me not only from yellow to green, but from high key value to low key value. So now I got to work back across with my blending, transitioning those colors a little bit better. Usually I go too much with this, so I don't want to get it all crazy wet. I just want to take those edges, soften them up a little bit. Now, at this moment, they look like they're not really working very well, but that's because there's so much marker juice in there. I'm just going to leave that for a minute. I'm going to take my lightest, and I'm going to transition this green. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow onto that green and sort of pull some of that green onto this yellow. So I'm not using the darker of the two yellows to do this. I'm using the lighter of the two yellows actually to blend the green. So it's sort of like the colorless blender concept. I'm gonna clean that out over there when I'm done. Then I'm gonna take my yellow pencil, maybe work some of those transitions just a little bit more, get this yellow looking a little more yellow, and get that green looking a little more yellow very softly now as I go into the, the bluer greens. This looks a little messy here, so I'm going to take this marker and just pull it back and forth this way. Straighten those out a touch. And then I'm going to take this mid-tone color and I'm going to clean up the edges along here. I'm also going to take my pen at the end. I should probably let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to clean up these edges. To sort of make that square stand up. A little bit stronger. All right, so you're going to go all around the rainbow, and then these last four, I'm going to do brown tones and whatever other fun stuff I can think of. <laughs> 